Welcome to Entering Patient Payments with Open Dental. This is just going to be a short video to show you where you can set up basic preferences for your account module and show you how to enter patient payments. There is information on our website as well if you need additional help. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we want to do before entering any payments is just set up our account module preferences. So to do that, we go to Set Up, the very, very top menu and down to account. And we're not going to focus on absolutely everything that you see in this window. We're really mainly just going to be focus, focusing on the lower right here where it says enforce valid pay splits. So Open Dental can be set up to do the work of attaching payments directly to procedures for you. Make it really simple. Under that enforce valid, uh, valid pay splits, you've got three options. When we click the drop down, don't enforce. That option will just allow you to enter payments to providers rather than procedures. Enforce fully. Payments entered this way will automatically attach to procedures. You can remove the recommended splits that it gives and manually choose your own. Any manual, uh, manual splits you do enter will have to be attached to procedures. Thirdly, there's the auto split only. Like the enforce fully option, the system will recommend splits and you can have the option of removing those if you wish. Manual splits that you attach, um, they can be attached to procedures directly, or if you don't want to attach to procedures using that option, you can attach the splits just to a provider. We recommend the auto split, just let the system do the work for you. Next one down, we have the auto split, payments preferring, and there's two options, adjustments and FIFO. FIFO just stands for first in, first out, meaning that Open Dental will automatically suggest pay splits allocated to the oldest completed procedure on the family's outstanding charges. The adjustments option, similarly, if you use adjustments in your system, uh, positive adjustments, if you ever increase someone's balance for failing an appointment or a return check fee, you can choose that adjustments option and that'll automatically suggest pay splits allocated to the oldest positive adjustment on the account, and then it will follow the FIFO logic for the remaining charges. I'm going to leave it as adjustments. There's also a little checkbox there, hide pay splits from the payment window by default. I'm going to leave that checked. I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. So I've got my preferences set here for what I want, auto split only and adjustments. I'm just clicking OK to save those preferences. And let's go ahead and enter some payments now. We're looking at the Baxter family. We can see on the right-hand side, Kevin has a balance, Yolanda has a balance, Emmett has a balance. I'm going to go ahead and first enter a payment for Kevin. So on the upper left is our payment button. We'll just single-click that payment button. We'll be prompted to enter an amount. I'm going to say maybe they're paying $300 today. There is a little box you can check, prefer this patient. If you want the splits to first attach to charges for this patient directly rather than just choosing the oldest charge on the account. So I'm going to check that box and I'm going to click OK. I can choose the type of payment if it was cash, if it was a credit card. And if I want to see how that money is allocated on the account, there is a little button there on the left that says show splits with the drop down arrow. I'm just going to click there. So I can see 242 was attached directly to Kevin and the remaining $58 went to Yolanda since she was the next oldest balance on the account. That looks good to me. I'm just going to click OK. If I had wanted to, I could delete those splits and attach that money to someone else in the family, but that's the way I want it, so I'm just going to OK to save it. Let's go ahead and enter one more. I'm going to choose Emmett. Emmett has $95 balance from a visit last week. I'm just going to click my payment button. And let's say they are paying $95. I want it to prefer Emmett, even though that's a newer balance from just last week. I'm going to check the box. I'm going to click OK. And again, if I, if I want to see how that money was allocated, I can click the drop down. Everything was attached to Emmett's last visit, totaling $95. I'm just going to OK to accept it. And it's as simple as that. Open Dental did all the work for me. If you need any other assistance, 
there's a very good detailed explanation on our website on the manual page there. And we hope that this was helpful.